Brenda met James out of boredom. Over the years of living with her husband, the woman had grown bored with the boring routine. She wanted to try something new, unexplored, and the couple had nothing to do with children. James simply inspired her, calling her his queen, and she reciprocated. They met in secret so Tim and the staff wouldn't find out. The office where the lovers worked was on the other side of town. Brenda used to take the bus to get there, but now James had solved the problem. Beautiful, I'll give you a ride. The young colleague suggested after a day of work when he met Brenda. Without knowing why, she agreed. Word by word, a friendly conversation ensued. Then he invited her to lunch at a restaurant. Oh, how beautiful it was. It had been a long time since Brenda had had such a lovely break from her gray workday. Gradually, they grew closer. Tim did not suspect anything because he came home later than his wife and he could not notice anything doubtful in Brenda because of the strong fatigue. She literally dissolved in her lover, giving him all of herself. Brenda was even ready to divorce her husband, but the obstacle in her way was a woman James Molly. With her, the man did not want to quarrel, used to several years of family comfort under the roof of his mother-in-law. Brenda, don't ever insinuate that I've left my wife. James demanded if Brenda accidentally mentioned their life together. Especially since you're married, said her lover. One morning, Brenda felt sick and thought it was fatigue. She stayed home all day, taking a vacation at her own expense. The next day, however, the trouble returned. She went to the hospital. After the examination, the doctor said, Pregnancy is six or seven weeks old. Shall we have the baby? The doctor asked. Brenda looked at him confusedly and nodded. This was something she hadn't expected. Returning home, she couldn't fully understand how could she get pregnant since Tim had been in treatment for several years. There was only one option. This child was conceived by James. The woman decided to tell everything to her lover, dreaming that now he would definitely want to stay only with her and they would finally be together forever. Brenda, what baby are you talking about? You live with your husband, I live with my wife. Everything that's happened between us has been mutual sympathy, nothing more. James said defiantly. Didn't you say you'd leave her? Then we'd go far away from here? Didn't you promise? The woman wondered, throwing her pillow to the floor in anger. Why are you talking about our relationship in the past tense now? Because I can't take it anymore. I thought that with you I would find happiness, and you are always pushing me, demanding something serious. There can't be anything serious between us, understand that. Besides, my wife and I are going to be parents soon. James yelled, turning to the window. Now get dressed. We have to give the landlady back the keys to this rented apartment, James said. You return it yourself. Brenda told him, hastily throwing on her spring coat. She took one last look at James, looked around the room with sad, tear-filled eyes at their formerly restless happiness, and proudly slammed the door. When she got home, she caught Tim. You're home early today? She wondered, trying not to look her husband in the eye. Somehow, she felt as if he knew everything about her secret lover and her future baby. However, Tim had no idea about it. He carefully gave his wife tea and asked how things were going at work. Fluttering her eyelashes, Ira replied, the boss also let go early today. I have a serious proposal, said Tim suddenly, after listening to his wife. I found a buyer for our apartment, suddenly said the husband. You've decided to sell our place? Yes, dear. I think to add to the proceeds of money and buy a house by the sea. You've dreamed of that, haven't you? Tim looked at her questioningly. The woman stood at a loss. I don't think this is the moment to change the place, she thought to herself. Couldn't we wait a little longer? She suggested, hoping to postpone the deal. After all, an unexpected pregnancy could be an unpleasant surprise for Tim. 
The next day, she asked to leave work again. Come in. Came from the doctor's office. Brenda entered timidly. You see, she began, I'd like to know more about my husband's diagnosis. The doctor looked for Tim's paperwork for several minutes. Your husband didn't come to the last appointment for some reason. He was busy with work. The wife justified Tim. Brenda looked at him and realized it was better to settle now than to bite her elbows over a divorce. Doctor, can we have children with him? She asked. Of course we could, but there's only a 7% chance they'll be born. The odds are slim. That's what I'm diagnosing from your husband's recent chart entries. So they could be born. Brenda's mind flashed. The woman had always dreamed of having a child. Seeing other mothers rolling strollers or leading their daughters and sons by the hand, Brenda felt like something sharp was stabbing into her heart. What's the occasion for such unusual preparations tonight? The dean was dumbfounded when he entered the apartment in the late afternoon. He saw candles on the table and dishes arranged with aromatic dishes. I wanted to surprise you. Do you like it? Looked lovingly at her husband and asked the woman. Of course I like it. I like everything with you. He gently put his arm around her waist. Brenda poured champagne into glasses and offered to have a Britter shirt. When they had eaten, his wife slowly unbuttoned his shirt, but immediately realized that Tim was about to fall asleep from exhaustion. That night, Brenda became very ill and was taken away by ambulance. In the morning, her husband came into her room. He put the flowers on the table and said, I can't believe it, were you really pregnant? Brenda turned silently to the window. Tears slowly rolled down her cheeks. Her husband sat down on the edge of the bed and took her hand. My doctor once told me that we could have children. He reassured her. After his wife was discharged from the hospital, he began to formalize the sale of the apartment. Soon the family was happy to have a small house by the sea coast. Meanwhile, Things were not going well for James and his wife. The company where he worked went bankrupt and he was left without a job. To help his family, James began to gamble, but was left with nothing. From the intense stress of his wife, Molly had a miscarriage, then followed a divorce. From loneliness and huge debts, former lover began to drink heavily. The second summer came, which Brenda and Tim sped by the sea enjoying the fresh air. Daddy, teach your son to swim. Gently handing the baby into her husband's hands, the woman said. Tim took the baby and laughed merrily. He swims better than you and me. Our Antonio was born near the sea.